Travel Tidbits podcast, hosted by the agents of Pineapple Escapes. Join us as we discuss the latest in travel news, destinations, and tips for the savvy traveler. After all, travel makes life sweeter. Hi, I'm Samantha Harris, travel agent with Pineapple Escapes, and you're listening to the Travel Tidbits podcast. Thanks for joining me today as I share with you my favorite travel credit cards. When it comes to choosing which travel credit card is best for you, you need to first determine which benefit is the most important to you. There are many options to choose from. Do you want cash back, airline miles, Disney rewards, or free hotel stays? Most airlines and hotel chains offer cards with varying benefits and sign-up rewards. I will discuss a few of the most popular options, but you will have to decide which one is best for you based on which benefit you want the most. My favorite all-around travel credit card is the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card. Now, this card has the most expensive annual fee at $550. However, if you're an avid traveler, you will quickly get your money back with this card. This card offers a $300 annual travel credit, global entry reimbursement of $100 every four years, and complimentary airport lounge access. You earn triple points on all travel purchases. If you're not a heavy traveler, they also offer the preferred card with a $95 annual fee. This card instead earns double points instead of triple points on all purchases. Both cards have no foreign transaction fees as well as trip delay, cancellation, and lost luggage insurance. The best airline credit card is going to depend on which airline you travel the most. Almost every airline offers a credit card with bonus miles for signing up. I have the Southwest Rapid Rewards and the American Airlines Advantage cards. I alternate these cards based on which one I'm going to need the most benefit out of soon. However, keep in mind, if you typically fly United or Allegiant, for example, you will want to look into the card those airlines partner with instead. There are three different Southwest Rapid Rewards cards with varying levels of benefits. The most basic card, the Plus card, has a $69 annual fee, and you get a bonus reward of 3,000 points every anniversary. The next tier is the Premium card with a $99 annual fee and 6,000 reward points annually. The third card is a priority card. It has a $149 annual fee and comes with 7,500 reward points, but this card also includes a $75 travel credit and four upgraded boarded passes annually. The premium and the priority card offer no foreign transaction fees. All three cards earn double reward points on Southwest purchases and one point per dollar spent on everything else. They also all include baggage delay and lost luggage benefits. If you know that you will be flying Southwest at least once per year, you might get the most benefit from having the priority card. The $75 travel credit and the upgraded boarding passes will come in handy for you. The American Airlines Advantage Platinum Select Card has a $99 annual fee, but it is waived for the first year. Benefits include your first checked bag is free on all domestic American Airlines flights for you and up to four traveling companions. Preferred boarding, 25% off in-flight food and beverages, double reward points on restaurants, gas, and all American Airlines purchases, and no foreign transaction fees. American Airlines also offers the Mile Up card with no annual fee. You can earn double points for American Airlines flights and 25% off your in-flight purchases, but you don't get the other travel benefits. The American Airlines Advantage Platinum Select card pays for the annual fee in two flights with just the free checked bags. Another fan favorite is the Disney Visa card. The Disney Visa card has no annual fee and earns 1% back in Disney rewards for every $1 spent. The Disney Premier Visa has a $49 annual fee and you can earn 2% back on groceries, restaurants, gas, and most Disney purchases, and 1% on everything else. You can redeem your rewards for Disney theme park tickets, resort stays, shopping, dining, Disney store purchases, and Disney Cruise Line. You earn 0% financing for up to six months on Disney vacation packages, 10% off select dining and merchandise, and exclusive card member photo opportunities. Sometimes you can even save up to 30% off Disney resort stays if there is a promotion available with your Disney Visa card. If you have a Disney vacation in your future, this card might be a good idea for you. Some things to consider when deciding which card is right for you include reward points, foreign transaction fees, insurance benefits, and the annual fee. You should weigh all the benefits and the fees to determine which card makes the most sense for you. 
I will include a link in the show notes to each of these cards if you decide to choose one of these. In the interest of full disclosure, if you choose to apply for one that I currently have, I may receive bonus reward points in the process. Some of you may already know that other than a travel agent, I am also an accountant, so it's important for me to note that if you choose any of these cards or another one that I have not mentioned, please do so responsibly. Do you have a favorite travel credit card with great benefits? We would love to know if there are others out there that we have missed. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite or reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram at Pineapple Escape. Thanks for listening today to our travel tidbit. We'd love to help you plan your next trip. Email us at info at pineappleescapes.com to get started. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode of the Travel Tidbits podcast hosted by Pineapple Escapes. Travel makes life sweeter. Let the experts help you plan a vacation with lasting memories. We'd love to help you plan your next vacation and have you join our community. You can find us on the web at www.pineappleescapes.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Pineapple Escapes.